Hello. Uh, so I had, as I have presented, uh, I've made a ESP32 Pico double decker board, which consisting of two layers, and the lower layer is has a CP2104, and uh, actually uh, it is working, but uh, it has one disadvantage that is, as you see, the GPIO starting from the G13, so no GPIO, for example, 0, 2, 4, 5, 8, or something single digit GPIO, nothing. So this time I made a modified version. This is a double decker Mark II. As you see, it has a pinout from G0 to G2, G4, G5, G12, up to G35 almost full pin out and uh, this is the uh, actual board compared to the first version as you see the pin is more uh, rigid compared to the uh, initial version initial version is a bit fragile for the short circuit but uh, in the new version it has a full pin out as you see and of course we can program through the USB interface and the switch on we will see the blinking and uh, once the program is done the lower layer is useless and just we can put on the breadboard and we can enjoy the wiring on the breadboard and of course it can work by standard mode because it has an onboard lithium polymer charger and uh, now it is working for the GPR lithium polymer battery mode and uh, as you see it is working and now uh, again I will say that they're compared to the previous version uh, compared to the previous version, which does not have a single digit GPIO, but now it has. And uh, this pinout is very important for, for example, Alexa experiment to connect the uh, MEMS microphone and uh, I squared S DA converter. And also it can be done, uh, this board can work, can, um, uh, can be implemented by a lot of very useful application, I think. Uh, much more useful the Mark II have found.